the other guy. Okay, we hit it. We hit it. We, we fucking hit it. We're alive, chat. This is my first ever Vagar 3. I'm pretty sure the strategy here, by the way, was actually to sell this. and put, I put blue buff on him, no? I, fuck it. We're just going to chill. We're going to chill. We're going to chill. We need three star this motherfucker. Should I feed him to a Kench? Army wishes I played at night so that I could play with. A lot of Challenger players don't, uh, which like the top Challenger players don't play in the morning. So I have, like, not bad lobbies, but heavy LP loss lobbies the, like, the entire morning if I ever bought four. Because, like, a GM player is not a bad player by any means, but the, uh, LP that is at risk is. <laughs> the EV is really bad. Oh shit, that's a shop. Or uh, an orb, rather. Sheesh. Sheesh. That is, an, that is a fucking orb, man. Holy. I got Vex Blitz. How do you rush to the carousel barrier? I just put on a uh, movement prediction. I'm not really going through it, but it's like trying to predict where I'm going to be in a second, so it looks like I'm moving through it. But it helps you, uh, like, if you're a little bit laggy, then it. Huh? I have Vex Pair. Like that one guy. Like, oh, shit. is it just a full on Yordle game? Fuck it. I'm kind of down. There's no way it is, right? I guess it's Arcanists. Yordle, no bitch. I have Rich Get Richer and so many Yordles. I mean, but the problem is, if I go bot four, I'm losing so much LP. <laughs> <laughs> but man, does it sound fun. I know it can be good. I know it can be really good, but you know what else can be really good from here? Is just leveling up and playing Arcanists. I mean, I have a lot of two-star potential. Hmm. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it open for a second. If I hit like a Poppy 2, I can definitely think about it. The amount of Yordles I have is a little gross. Is that even the best board? I can't put this on if I want to play Yordles. This looks weak. This is a little bit stronger. It looks like it can kill maybe one unit if I'm lucky. Because both Vexes will blow up, right? Problem is a Swain is really hard to kill. But Hannah Leona are like the two hardest units in the game to kill. Oh, fuck it. Lou's got us. Nice, we killed one. Huge. Alright, we'll see if we can start getting some Yordle. Yordle action. Okay. Okay, I have six Yordle. Huh? Okay, I mean, this has to be a Yordle game. It actually has to be a Yordle game. I'm no bitch. I'm no bitch. Okay. No scout, no bitch, yeah. I mean, if this isn't a spot to play Yordles, from what is, right? Realistically? So I might as well test it. Because <laughs> then if we bought for this game, we know for sure that it's never Yordles. But if we top for this game, they were like, okay, if we have 18 Yordles at 2-2, we can probably play Yordle. I won. I don't mind winning. I think HP is going to be a lot more important here than anything else. If I'm being honest. Now, if you type me Yordles in chat, you get marked. I don't want to get marked. All right, Poppy 2. Which means Blitz is good here, but not better than... A Heimer at killing units, is it? Which means I just sell Blitzcrank. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, what do we go first? Bramble? Low-key, I'm not going to go Bramble first. We go Shiv first. Shiv actually makes our board a lot better, no? What is the carry in Yordle? I think you just generally want to play Tempo if you can when you're playing Yordle. Like, I don't think you really want to stay low level. Because if you fall behind in HP, I don't think there's any coming back. Are you sure you just fucked? Dong plus Trist. I see, I see. Okay. 
chains on a Lulu. I think I want to go Shiv here. I think I want to go Last Whisper here. I think I want to just go Rod. I, I three cost Rod is probably the best, anyways. I don't need to slam anything. I can also take the Blitz just for the. I mean, Blitz isn't a bad level up. At all. I mean, he's probably the best level up, especially if he rolls like a Sunfire. But I need money. Oh my fucking god, man! I have Yordles out the wazoo right now. <laughs> I have Yordles out the wazoo. Okay, but don't I get shit on by stuff like this no matter what if I play Yordles? I kill one. Two? Fuck it. Kill one. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Power's good in the sun since if you can clump. If you have a blue buff. If you have a blue buff and you can't clump, then it's a little monk W. Okay. We have so many Yordles, though. There's no way this goes wrong, right? We have such a disgusting amount of Yordle. I know Rage Blade's actually really good in Tristan. No? Okay. <laughs> Hey, dude! Is this not the most high roll Yordle game you've ever fucking seen? <laughs> I have Slimer 2, Vex Pair, 5 Poppies. Alright, we're gonna play this over this. For sure. I mean, if I go Bot 4 this game, I don't really know what to I mean, I, I definitely see myself going Bot 4. I have a lot of two-star units, though. I feel like Rage Blade is actually okay, but I probably want to just put Rods on Hymer and Bows on Trist. So I think Rage Blade, taking both of them, that's probably not it. Mm -hmm. GS Gunblade Hymer does not sound very good without any raw AP. <laughs> Sounds pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Sounds good if you three-star him, though. Okay. I mean, my level 6 is pretty obvious, no? I'm playing Ziggs. I have 2-star at every Yordle, Pogo. Besides Ziggs. Which is kind of insane. What am I planning to roll? When am I planning to roll? Once I get a 70. Take okay, Gold Reserves. Oh, that's the, the Merc one, right? Okay, we got a Tear. That's good. We got a Sword. That's also good, I think. What do we do with this belt, though? What do we do with this belt? Trap claw, ideally? Hmm. We could also just do Zeke's. Okay, you know what I think it is? Isn't it just like Zeke's Shiv? Don't we just go like full aura items and carry every single one of them? Shojin, Rageblade, Heimer? That doesn't even sound bad. Thank you, Kaden. I feel like Zeke's Shiv actually sounds kind of insane from this spot. I'm like pretty sure it is. I'm going to sack one though because I don't know what I want to slam. I'm going to think for a second. I'm pretty sure Gumball without Rai P is a grief, no? I do, I, I do kind of want tier for blue buff Heimer. Huh. Let me think about this. What the fuck do I want to do? I mean, I would have won this fight if I slammed basically anything, right? Blue buff is very good. Slam is easier at blue. Is easier at gunblade? Am I really slamming a gunblade here, though? I guess it's a sin, like, they're sin matchups. I'm kind of down to slam a Gunblade. Doesn't sound great, but... I need to use these components somehow. Is out, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, Sonic Quest. Oh, God. <laughs> what is a Sonic Quest? <laughs> I feel like a Z-Zero would not be bad here, but I probably want... 
I don't know, man. I'm just gonna go blue buff up Karasama. We're gonna see what we get. I feel like I just do Z-Zero and I don't care about Trist items at all, right? I'm like pretty positive. Oh. Weak spot. Um, Shojin doesn't scale any better with attack speed than blue buff does. Pretty sure it's just a easier rot. Who wants it though? I guess it's just you. I'm not gonna have any room for anti heal on this board, so I'm just gonna full clump because there's just infinite sin players here, and I don't feel like getting griefed by sins. I don't feel like getting sin taxed. <laughs> uh, I disagree, Hypnoticus. Big disagree. <laughs> Also, it's not a bait because it's the only one I could take. The good boy does feel good, though. Fuck sins. It feels really good into sins. In Gunplay Z Rock feels so good into sins. Like, there's no point to roll down to 30 every turn, right? Hey, you're just never going to hit anything at that point. This thing? That thing? Oh, do I get it? Okay. With blue buff, you actually look pretty strong now. Because he had an insta-cast, right? Mm -mm. Thank you for, for working so hard on that, Nass. I really appreciate it. Big kiss of homie. <laughs> You're in a game with level 3 probably one shot in the back line, you think so? Oh yeah, items are pretty good, actually. I don't have anything useless, which is good. We do need some zigs though. I'm probably gonna have to roll on 6 until I see more zigs. No? Above 70? This is definitely a game where we get hit Heimer 3. Or not Heimer 3, uh... What's his phase 3, right? Vagar 3? Probably. Okay, well, Heimer with blue buff is so much stronger than Heimer without blue that maybe we're good. I'm getting, and the problem is this board gets Zyra out of its fucking mind. <laughs> I get Zyra gap so hard, potentially. Yeah, this gunplay does feel really good, actually. So I do agree with that, not guess. <laughs> There's no way I can pivot from this spot. It is what it is. Also, I don't have I have a lot of Yordles. Huh? I have like infinite Yordles. Yeah, that Yumi on 3-5 kind of fucked us up. Man, man, how is this a few Yordles? I have like everything. I mean, this is kind of insane. I mean, but the, yeah, there's also just nothing I can pivot into and not go eight from this spot. So it's either I three star everything uh, or I'm I'm doomed. Right? Pretty much. I'm gonna get Lux. There's a Lux 2 at 3-6 as well. It's a very high roll lobby. They took gold reserves and they're carrying a GP on a non-Merc board. I like it. <laughs> so I'll probably slow roll 6 for a little bit. Maybe I see like 2 or 3 more zigs and then I'm down to level. Because I need to get stronger. <laughs> And if you roll here, you're never hitting everything, is the thing. So you can't roll here. You will never... You'll hit, like, what? Poppy 3, Ziggs 3, maybe? If you're lucky. If you just rolled the 0. But even if you do that, you're still in a really bad spot. But, yeah, I mean, I'm really close to everything. Uh, I, I do need Heimers, actually. So maybe I do roll on 7. I'm getting Ziggs naturally from... I probably do roll on 7. I need a, a Janna really badly. Another blue... I am naturally Yordles like crazy. I'm going to roll on 7 a bit here. Fuck. Oh, actually, that's no, fine.
block it? Or, I mean, chalice? It's definitely a chalice, right? Can I just put this on this guy? I do. Okay. I need Bramble. And we're okay. Items are really good. So you should be able to see some more three costs here. What does Poppy give you feed Kench? I think it's like a hundred armor. It's a lot of armor. It's a lot of armor. My items are kind of nuts. I'm very close to everything. Yeah, I mean, the only reason I'm playing Yordles is because I'm high rolling out of my ass. I, I would not be playing Yordles if I wasn't high rolling it. Super hard. <laughs> I mean, that's the key to TFT in general, right? Is only play something if you're high rolling it. Because then you'll never really feel like you're low rolling. Which is not 100% true, but more or less. Position diff? Pogo? Mm -hmm. We do need so small, yeah. <laughs> so small would be really nice here. Yeah, these rats really good in Yordle. I feel super good. Oh, I guess I do want the three costs. You know, statement is a 20 out of 20 player, yeah. <laughs> You're a little, he'll low roll a lot less if you just play everything, that's what I'll say. Oh, fuck the Sin play. Uh, dude, it's a Sin matchup like almost every round right now. That's fucking nuts. This lobby is so Sin heavy. All right, Talon's dead though. Yeah, Scumplay does feel amazing actually. In Monica's, even without the AP. I like that. Uh, I like that idea. It sounded bad, but working out pretty well. I do have some raw AP now, so that's why it's scaling, I guess. But someone else has Lulu 3. Wait, what? There's no Lulu 3. Oh, there's a Lulu 3. Oh, that doesn't really matter though. I mean, I'll still hit. The reason it's making a difference is because there's like infinite two costs in the pool. Uh, and I'm getting them naturally, just from Yordle. They don't have is <laughs> They do have Convexes as well, but I'm really close to both. I had the roll a little bit earlier than them, probably. Yeah, I'll hatch. Uh... Wait, you will hatch them if they're all. You hatch Vagars if they're all gone? I didn't know that. Like, that's kind of sick. I got to roll after this stage. I'm going to just play this over one of these. I think the double vexes are really good here. But Bodyguard is also really good here. Because I need the taunt, even with ZZ Rock, because they're pretty inconsistent. This is probably fine to play. Yeah, Scrap's nice as well. I don't know if it's quite as strong as another Vex. Okay, I'm fucked here. <laughs> Holy shit. It's just so many reroll comps. Including me, I guess. Right? I can kill a lot of units here, though, no? Low key? I think I can kill this Swain. Oh, they ascended. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe that's Cap. And Heimer didn't 3-whack three, three him at all. Oh, kill him? Uh, weak, spot, I mean, weak spot diff. That's why I was able to do so much to him. Uh, they're all taken out of the pool. Yeah. Oh, he's all... I mean, I guess you can just do binary. There's a little bit of value, but it's fine. Binary is pretty good, actually, here. Because I, I just get a Trist item next. So what am I playing? Not Sins, Sins, Sins. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't need Thriller, I have Gunblade. But I do want items on my 3-star units. I'm going to do this so that when the Sins jump, they have less chance of just whacking me immediately. I do this, even. Because I don't want Braum to ult me, either. Is a thing. So I need to point this. I need to point Braum left. Is that one point on Triss and the other point to the carousel? Uh, nah. I mean, I'll just make a full item on Triss. More than likely. I mean, I, I could. If it's not a really, it's not like a half decent item on Triss, then I, I will just do that. But, you know. ZZ Rot scales off stage now. I'm probably sending it on 5 1. Yeah. So I want to start seeing Vagars. I have to roll very soon. 
have to hit very soon. And also, just I'm gonna start losing rounds, and the lobby is very, very close in HP. Cause I'm, I mean, I'm very close to hitting, right? I just need two of these, two of these, three of these, and you just start seeing the hard to find one. And Ziggs is kind of the hardest one to find right now, so I need to start seeing Ziggs early. Just one item. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. I guess I'll put that on the other guy. Nuts. Fuck, dude. I didn't put this on for binary either. Slaying Ziggs is rough. Because I do need to find... I mean, I'm probably going to get Ziggs from orbs anyways. So I'll probably have Vagar at the end of stage 5. But I get clapped a little bit here. So I need to hit Heimer 3, Vex 3, and then I can look to level. I mean, I got blown up by Imperial Twitch. <laughs> That's where it went. Okay. We hit. My ones are fine. Just that the whole lobby sins. Uh, yeah, he's still combining is how I saw it. They're pretty strong now. Might just get a collie gap though, because the Heimer can't move. Yep. Dude, I fucking hate sins. <laughs> Mm -mm. I want to play Brom Janna. Oh, look at that. Or you to level though. Yeah, the problem is that the whole lobby is just sin players, so it's like it's very difficult to actually exist in this lobby <laughs> as a non-sin player. Because like I need to backline everything, but I can't backline anything. You know what I mean? It's just like a whole shit show. Heimer just totally whiffed his first ult. <laughs> nice job, brother. Like a rabbit on here would be so much better than a uh, than a uh, an archangel. He whiffed again. Dude, my Heimer's getting juked like a fucking... He's getting juked a lot. He's getting juked a ton. Yeah, I mean, Sin Meta makes this comp a lot harder. Because I have to... Yeah, I have to do a lot of really weird positioning. And I can't really position well into anyone in particular. A locket for sure. Heimer's gonna lock it. It's on Lulu. GG. I mean, I can do this. Might just be this, though. This is probably better for Vex. I don't think I really need that. The problem with a lot of, into Sins is that, like, it's okay in a Sin match if you can position for Sins, but when you're positioning for Sin, when you're positioning for Sins forces you to position poorly into another comp, it's when it gets bad. I put an extra level in. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> it gets bad when it forces, when you are forced to position into, uh, Sins when like you can't really afford a position in the sins because if you do you get fucked by someone else. You know what I mean? It's kind of why it's I mean it's the whole reason why sins are so good. I can corner now. Yeah, like, it, yeah, like positioning gets very RNG heavy when sins are in the meta. There's much more variance in positioning in a sin meta than there is in shops, for example. Like shops are very low variance compared to <laughs> Like, just, do you hit the Sin player, or do you not hit the Sin player? Shops augments all of it, it's very low uh, variance compared to the other thing. There's no way I play a Vagar 1 over this guy, right? Can I just sell Vagars to go 9? This person has not moved out of this corner. 
No, I can't roll here. I don't have a Genepair. I'm not going to hit. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Goodbye, Ziggs. <laughs> I rolled really good items off binary, though. A really good item. I mean, I can try to play Vagar if I... I don't know, find some way to not get sin gapped by playing him. <laughs> I just don't have enough room. Because without Bodyguard, I... Don't get, I mean, I get a ZZ Rod taunt off at least, I guess. Oh, that's pretty good. That's really good, actually. Great Vex item. Yeah, one Sin player down. Because, <laughs> like, what does a Vagar do into, like, this guy, for example, right? He just dies. Probably just die. I mean, you can just learn to that guy. Just dies into this guy. Just dies into that guy. He just dies in every matchup. I, I will play if I two star. I will one I two star him, probably, over Braum. Don't know how right it is, though. But, I mean, what's the point of playing Yordle if you don't end up playing Vagar? The whole lobby is Sin, basically, yeah. <laughs> the entire fucking lobby is Sin. Oh, is it actually all Sins now? It is. There's a Blitzcrank, but I don't mind getting hooked. Okay, we can just full corner. Like, full fucking corner. Leave Vex up. It could be a frontline Vagar angle, yeah. Pumping's gonna be a little bit better in a lot of situations. Getting hooked is good, because it gets us away from all the Sins. Which is why I don't really understand why people position Blitzcrank in the back like that. Because my Heimer is just now safely killing the whole team. You know what I mean? <laughs> just safely killing the entire team. I don't know why he been nads. It might just be this, though. What is it corner versus front line? I have a Bramble ZZ Rot, so it's generally gonna be better to corner. And there's this guy in the lobby still, who will just fucking roll me. They will just absolutely roll me if I front line something, right? <laughs> so. Decent matchup for us, though, admittedly. Oh, they're getting Zyrud. It's not good. But we kill the Swain really quickly with, uh, with Vagar. And we have Weak Spot. So Weak Spot's like an insane augment right now. And for just for this matchup. Vagar did infinite damage there. That's kind of impressive, actually. I don't need money the rest of the game, right? I do not need money for the rest of the game. Yeah, Vagar does a ton of damage. <laughs> I'm gonna atomize Vagar next, yeah. I'm gonna get hooked again. I'm fine with it. Yeah, it's funny to see uh, Yordle in, in, a, in a challenger lobby. It is good. It's good if you super high roll it, which I did, right? Problem is I get absolutely shit on by uh, Zyra. It's probably the biggest issue. And this Akali is super hard for my Heimer to actually hit. He's missed every single... Heimer, please hit an ult! I think he hit one ult that whole round. <laughs> roll for Vagar? Yeah. <laughs> Roll for Vagar, for sure. Uh, is it just Shiv? I think it's Shiv over Hodge. I mean, I'd like to get Vagar 3. The problem is, I'm probably losing all these matchups. I am not selling Heimerdinger. I mean, we can hit 3-star Heimer if we don't die. I don't mind getting hooked here, right? I need her here to just haunt any sins. I mean, I still need to hit Braum 2 Janna too, so I got a little to hit. Oh shit, Twitch actually still aggroes onto the Blitz target. I didn't realize that. Oh, because he's, yeah, he's long range, I guess. It makes sense. So I guess I don't want to get hooked then. Um, this Vagar just fucking rolled everyone, though. <laughs> this Vagar just destroyed this board. I don't know if I live this. I 
Oh, I rolled Trap Claw. Oh, shit. I rolled Trap Claw. I don't get Zyrud. I do get Zyrud. Akali just whacked me. Oh, everything's dying, though. Maybe? Lulu ulted? Okay. We're alive, I think. We're living? We're living? No, Akali just killed my whole team. I'm dead. I, I, am I dead? I need to kill one more, no? Am I dead? I'm dead, aren't I? Oh, I'm alive! I'm alive! I'm alive! I'm alive! I'm alive! Okay. Woo! 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 Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, how the fuck do I beat this? It's Seven Syndicate and Kali. Nico, one time? I need to win one fight. Or you can get you can get two Nikos here. You can actually get two Nikos here. You think itemized Vagar over Heimer wins? I need a remover is what I need. BG. I need to win two rounds. How the fuck do I win two rounds? How the fuck do I win two rounds here? Dude. Does anyone know? Yumi might be okay. Probably not better than Janna from this spot. I can't frontline my board. The problem with frontlining my board is that if I do, I get killed by... Uh, I just get CC'd forever. And a colleague doesn't really care about me frontlining. So Vagar gets killed, but he should ult once before he dies, which is all I needed to do. I'm dead. I'm getting CC to death. I can't move. Which isn't dead. Team, please kill something? Team, please. Okay, team. They killed. They killed. Please. Give me that guy again. Plays Brahma Vagar too? You think that's better? I think it's probably worse. Please. Okay, Twitch should get stuck on this. I don't get hooked. Twitch should just die instantly, no? Because he's also going to start hitting the the other guy. Okay, we hit it. We hit it. We, we fucking hit it. We're alive, chat. This is my first ever Vagar 3. Holy fuck. We did roll trap. We did roll trap claw again as well. I'm pretty sure the strategy here, by the way, was actually to sell this and put, I put blue buff on him, no? I, I, fuck it, we're just gonna chill. We're gonna chill. We're gonna chill. It's time? <laughs> we need three star this motherfucker. <laughs> Should I feed him to a Kench? <laughs> I wanna feed him to a Kench. <laughs> we roll double Zephyr? Oh shit! We Zephyr the Akali? I mean, it's a three auto ult, and it's fine. I need, I need Heimer, I think, to actually kill stuff too. Okay, this. <laughs> Holy shit! She's not getting hit, dude. This game is too, too fun. Holy shit! They just, they just f after they die. They just fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Thank you for the prime sub, Kander. Appreciate it. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Sheesh.